Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are almost at the end of the road for the KWM Gutterman SoCal Open Racquetball Championships here in Canoga Park, California, with the RTM Fabio Soto along with Brian Pineda. Brian, the end of the line. Beltran Montoya, and I never thought I'd say this, versus Landa and De La Rosa. Yeah, Fabio, this is geared up to be an interesting final, being someone who's coming back in the loop and the last time having announced for the three of all championships, seeing De La Rosa and Alvaro playing together now to see him indoor where they're notably just as good, if not better in doubles, to not be playing together is, is a story we'll have to investigate as to the why. But nonetheless, we see the end of an era, a dominant era between DLR and, and Alvaro, and now we're seeing some new teams formed. Uh, I think it's a great pickup for both Montoya and Beltran to be playing with each other. The X factor in this match is easily, hands down, going to be Landa. And I have to agree with you right there. All tier one champions in the RT. All world-class players, IRF champions. You got some of the best of the best here. Voidable shot called against Beltran. So De La Rosa <laughs> and Landa draw first blood. And I love that. I love early on he's going to disagree with the call like that. That's vintage Beltran. Two, that's two quick points. It's so good, it's so pure. The forehand that's been working for over two decades. And arguably one of the best forehands ever in racquetball. That's a skip shot right there. Lana was, of course, one of the best shooters in the game. He is, but you know what? There's going to be added pressure. Number one, Alvaro Beltran might be the only person that Alex Landa will actually respect on the court. And number two, you're talking about one of the greatest retrievers should you choose to go cross court in Montoya. There we go. Early shots fired, and that's what I expect out of this match. Uh, I don't want to see I don't want to see formalities here, Fabio. This is good double so far. It is. Beltran. You gotta wonder what the mentality is going into this match. I mean, you see how much success over about a seven year period between Beltran and De La Rosa. I, I don't wonder at all, Fabio. It's kill. Oh, there you have it. And what a great find there. I mean, Danny makes a great get, the tracking down of the ball, but it's just like, like you just said, that the years of playing, not only watching, but playing against, playing with. He's got a good beat on Alvaro's really good cross court. And it leaves you to wonder the insight that each of these players have amongst each other. They know themselves so well playing with and against. And now that we have a different rivalry, you know, the just this is more of a chess match than anything you've ever seen. What a great serve there by Landa. Oh. Wow. I love the exchange of blows there. This is just an open book and everyone's reading on the same page right now. 4-0. Replay call. However, using his body to shield, good gamesmanship there, not enough to be unavoidable. It's too good. It's a well-placed shot. Nice little pat down the line, catches a good crack on the wall to keep continue its path down the wall. Good 
get from Landa. Mm. Good heat. From the back, Montoya. Skip ball. It's a skip call. Balls, and I'll tell you what, Fabio, we're in for a treat if those are the kind of rallies we're going to be having here. Oh, this is just the beginning, Brian, I guarantee you. Behind the back, Landa. Wow, what a great kill shot there by Landa. It's great positioning for Montoya. So we talked about in doubles about leadership roles. We talked about how things develop and how they're coming together. And he leads to wonder, you know, after that experience and all the seasoning of Beltran, he's the leader right now of this team, but Montoya's taking more than half the court on his side. Granted, he's playing the left. Great stuff. And what you're seeing here is Land is, as we saw when he was playing his semifinals and doubles, he was the X factor, right, with Mania yeah. and with um, with Parrilla. And we saw him being more offensive. He hasn't had a real chance to exert that lethal forehand that he's had. Great game management and strategy from Beltran and Montoya. And there's his first winner right there. Beautiful down the line. Right shot there by Landa. He saw that Beltran was pinned to the back wall and he just went for it. Mm -hmm. Montoya with his missile coming up. An interesting serve by Montoya. too good it is the wide angle is beautiful I love Danny's effort to get back in position and people forget regardless of the dominance of the Beltran and DLR era you know every time Montoya and Javier Mar faced them they put up a good fight they defeated in Mexican Nationals as well back in 2020 they won the final versus Beltran and De La Rosa that's a skip shot that's the second time now that I've seen Montoya with the setup opportunity to score and just comes up shy. Cannot afford against such a team with experience in a final to be missing those. It's too good. Wow, what great hands, De La Rosa. Hashtag. Couldn't get it. Hashtag the sorcerer what? Sorcerer Supreme. That's right. With some magic coming out of that right corner. It's so good. That's as flat as flat gets right there. It is. Wow, great adjustment right there. What a great read, and you know what? The ball tracking right there by De La Rosa was just phenomenal. So close. Down the line winner. Very solid textbook shot. Half 
foul right there. And, you know, I like that middle shot. You know, the leadership says right there that Alvaro just let Montoya go for the full swing. Oh, Just like that again. Same shot, more efficient though. Back to back. That shows you the prepare and the awareness of Montoya. Great serve. Love it. Great. Yeah, that's difficult. And good on Landa. He's finding himself in this match. Good amount of pressure there to take over, and he rips one for a winner. But you know, Beltran just let himself be pinned all the way to the back, and even though Rodrigo was on it, you know, he left the whole front of the court open. Hell, three quarters of the court was wide open right there. Is he going for the middle? Yes, he is. Perfect. Incredible ceiling shot. And De La Rosa just tracked that ball perfectly. I think there's going to be... Landa thought it was down. No, it was. It's it's a clean get. It, it should is. have gone for a winner. That's how dirty that retrieving from Montoya is. That's of the highest level. But what I liked about Beltran was his shot selection. Again in the middle. It's a good reset. Oh, wow. Montoya got it. This is ideal for Beltran to have Alvi on the left side. It Gives is. a little more confidence, finds a nice crack there. Good recognition from DLR. And he knew exactly where to shoot. He saw the uncomfortable position that Beltran was in, and he took advantage. Opportunity DLR. The hands of the Sorcerer <laughs> Supreme. He just waited. So Can we patient. see that or he, he was he was just stalking that shot. He knew exactly where it was gonna go. That's the insight that we have to take in mind amongst these athletes. DLR from going level to hitting a winner. The athleticism. Is incredible the presence in the moment. I want to thank everyone for tuning in on live. I hope, I hope you guys are having a great time in the chat box. It's always interesting to hear what you guys have to say. It's exotic. Fabio, I just want to let you know as we continue, I'll say this at the end, I've, I've really enjoyed commentating with you this weekend. It's been nothing but a joy to see the best players live in action up, for, up front. And it has been a treat having you here this weekend, Brian. I'm glad after a four-year hiatus between you and me not being paired up together that we get to be here in your home state and watch some amazing ball play. An end of an era and the beginning of a new one. Rocky was back. Rocky Carson made his return to the IRT as so is Alvaro Beltran. We didn't get the perfect. We didn't get the trifecta that we were hoping for. But we're so excited to be here. Three serving seven. Remember Montoya's the second server. Yeah. 
Fantastic shot there by De La Rosa, just fired one. Just saying goodbye to the bread and bags, just nothing short of a treat to have them both here. Safe travels to them. I'm sure warm welcome is coming their way. Lots to celebrate. Mm. I love the X Factor has found his way into this match. It's a well balanced final here. It is very, very well balanced. Oh boy, that front court action right there. And a timeout is called by Beltran and Montoya as they get to one minute break. We will too, we'll be back on IRT Live. the U.S. military, was killed in an inside attack on the 12th of February 2014. The biggest thing we want to do to help our local Gold Star families and our veterans that we bring awareness to their opportunity to be served, to be taken care of, to bring to light ever-increasing need for our veterans specifically to have housing, to have good benefits, to be taken care of. Go to livelikejohn.us. Go to the Donate Now button and help us fulfill our mission. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Game number one still in play here. De La Rosa landing needed to nine to three over Montoya and Beltran, who took their timeout right now. So some adjustments have been made. Let's see if it pays its dividends. Nine serving three here. This is game number one after a timeout from Beltran and Montoya. What a great pass. Mm, that is stellar. That's a veteran move there from Beltran. Yeah, I love the use of the body. Kept it clean. Keeps Londa on his left hip. Has to work around, and he strikes the ball well enough for Landa not even get a racket on it. You know, what I did like about Beltran is that he didn't have a, a good stance right there. He just was on his two feet up in the air. Wow, the, too good. The X Factor is just coming up big. Alex Landa, with a great wide angle. Yeah, just not digging, not digging the the inconsistency from the back team here. It's a better shot from Beltran. So good. And Matoya's a little frustrated because he's kind of been canceled out of this. Uh, he's been playing more retrieving. He's the guy you want feasting on the ball. And a frustrated shot. Fortunate break there as Landa skips the frustrated shot that Montoya took off the back, or that led off the back wall.
between the leg shot there by De La Rosa. It's a good pickup by Montoya. He was ahead. Landa. What a rally. Great coverage. That's a reset. Good coverage. Landa, what a pickup. Look at that. And <laughs> des destroyed. Wow, what an excellent display of defensive skills. Look you at this replay here, there's, Fabio. There's several highlights in this rally all together. Look, Look at, at the, the coverage the, the, right there. You know, Landa is just fighting so hard. And De La Rosa and can't it, do nothing about the... It has to be perfect there, Fabio. So, so supreme. Yeah, it, the, the only acceptable shot is perfection right there in that angle. And when you have someone like DLR, who you know is just a vulture waiting in the wings for anything up, anything but that shot, the cones that I, Beltran I has. I, I can't imagine how good that must felt for Beltran. <laughs> Cannot imagine. Well, a lot of work to be done. They're still trailing 4-10. to 10. a reset by DLR. Oh, miscommunication, opportunity Montoya. And some miscues there on opportunities and communication. Allow for a little breathing room here as they get out. Five serving 10. As we enter the second part Second chapter of this first game here. Wow! Wow, Beltran. The big man is still getting level. Look at him with a cane right there. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The people's champion. And this is a well-struck ball from DLR. It is. Beltran really has no business getting that, but it's vintage Beltran. No, oh, you know what? He's not, but the anticipation and the level of maturity does get to show the experience. Let's see that one more time. This just is a highlight reel altogether. Look at this. He read it. He knew where it was going. Look at him. Just took a couple of short steps, and boom. Fabio, how old is Beltran? Um, 42? So, so moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> He's 42 going on 15. He has no business getting that shot. It's so vintage Beltran. It's like swan diving out there. He's 43, turning 44 this year. Wow. I know. I know. Here we go, Beltran. Tough serve? It is a tough serve. Montoya. Well, Montoya. Between the legs. Good on Alex wow. there. Look at how Alex Landa went all the way from the back to the front, and he was just behind Beltran when he got that shot. The Talk Mad Hatter. That's my name for Landa, the Mad <laughs> Hatter. The Mad Hatter. I love it. Just playing so well, the X Factor himself. Deserving spot in this final he's had, the way he's shown up for this final. What a great ceiling shot by DLR. Pick up. Replay call, there was some incidental contact between DLR and Montoya. Maybe it's the old school me, but I would love to see a no replay there and continue I play. Would, I would love them. Even if they tackled each other, I would still love to see them play through. God, Ball just down. a recovery, a little miscommunication there, but because of the savviness 
of Beltran. Just throws a little Sorcerer Supreme cream on that shot there. So let's take a look at the, some of the replays here throughout this game. That land of pickup was just amazing in itself. And that nothing short of perfect shot there by Beltran. Just an amazing rally. One of the best ones in the match so far. Let's we'll take a look at this one. Hot. That's beauty. Vintage. One, two, court steps. Boom. Got it. Nothing Landa could do about that one. Alvaro's always been a showman. Always. He's the, Doesn't peop just he, he's the people's champion. Ooh. He's the rock of the IRT. It's a title Jason Menino owned for a while when he was playing. Shout out to Hall of Famer Jason Menino. Wow. Skip there by DLR. And now, as you can see, Brian, eight serving 10. That differential is just slowly disappearing right now as Montoya and Beltran find their way to get back on track. Mm. I don't like that shot by Montoya. He just went down the line, but he hit it like at 10 miles an hour. Yeah, and it's one too many times. You know what I mean? We know Alex is the person to go to, and, but the thing is, and I think why he goes for that shot is, Alex has been playing tough as nails. And that's what happens. You get your opponents to second guess strategy. Yep. Oh, we got a no mommies. Well, you know, Landa made the effort to get out of the way. I think uh, I think Montoya acted too quickly. Yes, he did. And that's why. That was smart of Montoya. That's, mm. that's a veteran move there from him. Ooh. Yeah, Montoya, that's his responsibility to get it that is. ball. Have to yes. recognize Alvarez swinging from the back 40. And, and Daniel hits it. Slow enough, you can read what's going. It's still a well-struck ball, but at this level, Montoya should be all over that. Costly mistake here is we move 11-8. They've tightened the gap. Let's see if they can get a hold here. And a well-placed shot by Alex. And from the X factor to the dominant force on the court is my opinion of Alex right now. Fortunate there as Montoya was ready to tee off on one. Oh no, too many mistakes coming here. At the maturity of the match here in game number one. Going for a winner. No ops to go up instead. Wicked forehand right there. Opportunity Beltran now. It's good coverage, good angle. And I love that shot by Montoya. And Danny Wide. plays it right there, you know what I mean? You have to respect that Montoya can kill that ball in the front. Have to give one or the other. Montoya gets it right that time. Side out, but the damage done here. And Beltran has gone cold on us. Yeah, that's a, you know, there were just two points behind, and now it's a five-point differential. We're almost at the end of game number one. Just a replay. Replay from head referee Jaime Natel. And a 
another unforced error off a setup for Beltran. And it's nothing but frustrating for Montoya. And a miscue there from Montoya. It is a miscue. Leaves a buffet of choices for Danny. Which kill he's going to go for. Well done by Danny. And this is game point number one for Landa and De La Rosa. The magic is happening right there in the front of the court for DLR and Landa who take game number one. 15 to 8. Players will take a two minute break and we will too. We'll be back on IRT Live. story joined the u.s military was killed in an inside attack on the 12th of february 2014. the biggest thing we want to do to help our local gold star families and our veterans that we bring awareness to their opportunity to be served to be taken care of to bring to light ever increasing need for our veterans specifically to have housing to have good benefits to be taken care of go to live like john.us go to the donate now button and help us fulfill our mission my name is Jake Brenbeck, and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox is felt, and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard, understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. And welcome back to the SoCal Open here, presented by the International Racquetball Tour. This is the men's pro doubles final. And I'm Brian Pineda. We'll be joined shortly here by Fabio Soto. And after an exciting game number one, which led to a DLR Landa finish of 15-8, we're geared up here for game number two. Head referee Jaime Martel on the call. He's put the ball in action. And here we go. Landa to serve. I honestly, I don't think I've seen this scenario before in professional racquetball, Brian, because of the backstory between, you know, behind this match. But I really don't know what to expect out of this game number two, other than everything but the kitchen sink from Beltran and Montoya. Forget. Good shot. It's a good shot. Yeah, Fabio, this is going to be a, a interesting to see what kind of adjustments they make. They were on a nice roll there, made it a two-point game. Until some mistakes are coming off the Beltran forehand, which is uncharacteristic. That's for sure his favorite side. That's good on Alex, still playing very consistent in game number one as we roll into game number two here. Like I said, Fabio, from X Factor to yeah. the dominant player on the court, and it's saying a lot when you've got four gentlemen of this caliber. He's really made the difference. Albert with the setup. Ball down. And you can't help to see and notice, you know, how the the speed is so different from Beltran now. He just seems so slower picking those balls. Mm-hmm. 
to get to a defensive standpoint and not achieving it. I mean, playing playing high level ball since the age of 15, it's it's just a wonder his hips are even still able to play the game past the age of 35. And he's like you said, he's going from 43 to 44 this year. Yeah. That's beauty. After a land a miss to capitalize and hit a winner. It's good recognition of the tone need to be set here in game number two. Good positioning from Alro doesn't move. Landa has to take the long way as he's posing there. And that's doubles. There's nothing wrong with that. Beauty. Just played like a violin. Nice cut of the cheese right there in the left corner from Montoya. Out to an ideal start here, two serving zero. It's rolling now. This is a good, good start for Beltran and Montoya. <laughs> oh my god you know you're in trouble when Alvi's smiling at the crowd he's free he's careless Alvi is one of those p players that's dangerous with the lead Great track down from Danny. Oh! Hate to see that. And that's just excellent yeah. tracking the ball down from DLR. Keeps him alive in that rally. Hot winner right now from Montoya. And you know, I, I gotta ask you, Brian. I mean, they're leading 5-0, Beltran and Montoya. Are you surprised of this score right now, or is this just a delay of the inevitable? I'm not surprised by the score because they're, they're, you're talking about two champions, qualified champions. They're not just like finding themselves in a final. There's experience. There's there's hardware won at the end of a tournament behind both these gentlemen's names. It's what's to be expected, the adjustments made. It's why they're the best. Unfortunate dealer had a beat on it, even though he got level. But a good skip call there from head referee Jaime Martel. Nice little cameo there from our good friend Christian Langoria. It's great to see him back in the tournament, Fabio. I, it love, it I love seeing all the, the young, talented players coming to the event. And you know what, you see that a lot lately because you have more players from the international game. Again, we've mentioned how important this year is in international racquetball. You got the Central American Caribbean Games. You got the Pan American Games, Republican, Dominican Republic, you got Chile. And you got all these players from all these countries coming into the IRT preparing for what is to be the best year in racquetball so far. Yeah, it's refreshing for sure. And, and it's not like they're just coming on the scene. They've had time to develop. That's a skip shot by Montoya. Notice a little lapse in the action, too. Yeah. Gets Montoya off kilter. He for sure has been 
the shining light on this team. Beltran settled in as well. You catch both of them on fire. This will be turned tiebreaker. Make no mistake of it. Trying to get out the Schneid here. Land a serve, 0-6. <laughs> wow, that's, you know, that's that that little wraparound rally that he does is very known for. It's just I can't see him missing those shots. It's a good pickup by Montoya. You're gonna get an appeal. If De La Rosa and Landa lose, look for an appeal. Oh, boy. Wow. And DLR gives Beltran the stare down after that. Exactly. That's Love it. That's the same play that Bredenbeck made in the final. Just that kill between the legs, just fantastic. But, yeah, that stare down you're talking about, what's been fueling both of these athletes to prevail. So there's an appeal of that how is not unavoidable. I don't know what you think about Brian, but you know De La Rosa was in the shot of Montoya. But justice prevails. I think the right call there's a replay. I don't think it's quite unavoidable. You know what I love? DLR is not giving Montoya an inch. He's not moving in the lob serve. The right shot is down the line. I'd buzz the tower. I'd clip him. And too many errors are coming right now as De La Rosa and Landa are creeping back into this. A two-point game, once 6-0 lead from Montoya and Beltran. There you go. We've got a hot DLR. Not quite a time for a timeout yet. He's hitting perfect flat winners right now. I like that idea right there. Me personally, Fabio, I think that is a that is a avoidable. It's very very close though. Londa was on his horse to get out of the way, but that's a forehand in the service box. Great get from Londa. He's not, he's not retreated whatsoever, taking on the forehand side of Beltran. As I set up for DLR. He's hit perfect winners that time. Shows a little versatility instead of going flat. Hits a perfect angle. Six seven, and probably before all that exchange, they were up six zero. DLR and Land have gone a seven point run. The 
get. Great effort there. The ball struck way too well. Mon Montoya and Beltran both going for it. Almost saw a replay of Vegas. Oh, that replay we do not want to see again. <laughs> we don't Brian. need that. We don't need that. But thank you, everybody, for watching very, very much. The KWM Gutterman SoCal Open Racquetball Championships. Our official partners, MyPillow, Gearbox, Racquetball, of course. The Live Like John Foundation, foundation the IRT works closely with, NMRA, National Masters Racquetball Association, and all the people involved in this, especially a special thanks to Mr. Rick Betts and Cindy Tilbury for putting this together. Without their support, this would not be possible. Absolutely, and obviously thank you to you guys as well, touring with the tour, making this free for everyone. So please like and share the International Racquetball Tour page as well as these live matches. They can be archived and visited at any time to see this great action. Beauty. We're all tied up again here, 7-7, seven, seven, as we head into the second half of this match. Too cute, and it's difficult there. Not only you have Beltran on the right side, you have Montoya lurking on the left. A little too much showman there. And that's the wrong shot so many times. You've got the recipe getting Montoya to pick and prod at backhands, hitting the right shot. Landa chooses the wrong one there. And costly as they give up the lead here, extending it nine, serving seven. We hope everyone stays tuned the following week. Correct me if I'm wrong, Fabio. It'll be the ladies who are up to bat in San Antonio. It's yes. the it's the LPRT goes to San Antonio next week, and you'll see some of these players there too. Uh, it is my understanding that Daniel De La Rosa will play mixed with Holly Scott. Alan Atera will play mixed with Carla Munoz. We got some really good high-level yeah. players playing. Mixed. Adam and no, Adam's not going. Who will Erica play with? I wonder. I do not know. Nine serving seven, two point differential. All the potential in the world here, Brian, for this go to tiebreaker. Absolutely. Would love nothing more. This has been anything but a dull game. I love, too, that there is this elephant in the room. That's not our story to tell, but everyone knows it's there. What happened with DLR and Beltran? And just how much, and you know, the other part of the story here is how much Rodrigo and Alex don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's like they've maintained themselves well, well through whatever that is. You know, the thing is that emotions are running through the roof here. And, you know, the tension and the excitement, everything all together put, it's just this makes this matchup all that more interesting. I want to thank everybody again for watching and tuning in throughout this whole weekend.
That's so good. That is so clean by Landa, so crisp. And every time there's those wipe ups, and I know we complain about it, it takes away from the game. But if we stop making better subs and realize that's, it stops the flow of the game and how tough you have to be as a player to get ready and go. Well, that's training regimen, that's preparation. Mm. Oh, Landa, you know, just really pulling all the stops. You know, you talked. we talked about this last time, Brian, and how Landa was gonna become the X Factor in this mm -hmm. match, and so far, so good. I mean, he's just been pulling more than his own weight. Sure. Skip ball. And De La Rosa complained that Montoya was in his way. I don't see an appeal though. One point differential. Wow. Landed with an opportunity to close this one. It was a sitting duck. Probably the best looking shot he's had all day. He's inside the service box. He duffs it. And Beltran's gonna take a smart timeout here. We're geared up for the finale of game number two when we'll be turned here on the IRT Live. My name is Jake Brenbeck and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox has felt and it, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. Back, ladies and gentlemen, after a timeout from Beltran and Montoya. Brian, your thoughts on that final timeout of game number one, uh, two, rather, from Montoya and Beltran. I love it. It's a great opportunity. It's clearly uh, hard. The second game kept it competitive. It's a good timeout for him to take a breath. Anytime you take a timeout, it's the right It's good. Yeah, it's good. Good shot there from DLR, gets a half out. Yeah, I don't like that return there from Beltran. Eight serving nine, let's see if the back team can get a hold of their own here. there from head referee Jaime Martel. Second serve, good start here. Perfect angle from Beltran who himself has to put a little creativity on that shot. I love to hear Beltran pumping himself up here. This is a big point right here. They have the lead but to extend it, give him some comfort it's an, after an excellent hold so crucial in the second game. 
goes off. Yep. And that's a good call. That's a good call there from Jaime Martel. Nothing to do there. Just a lot of collusion going on. If they really want the avoidable, and I know this is a safety issue, Fabio, but he has to swing there. He, you know, if his opponent loses a couple teeth, it is what it is. Nine serving eight, so we're gonna have a replay here. No harm, no foul. We'll low on the action. not adding a lot of support over there. It's got to be a little more methodical with that shot. It's either got to be a kill or a pass. It can't be something in between there. I felt a little undecisiveness on the shot. Love the idea of a slice cross court. Serving eight, half out here. This is the men's pro doubles final here in Canoga Park, Los can Angeles, California. Can you believe it's just a one point differential after all we've been through throughout this match so far? I mean, look at the game number one, seven point differential. Now it's one, and we're just reaching almost the end of game number two. Of course, this is far from over, Brian, but to no surprise, I'd be mean, absolutely no surprise if we get a tiebreaker. Referee has ordered Rodrigo Montoya to change his shirt. So he is doing that right now as we speak as they're just tidying up the court a bit. So Montoya getting that ready. Pineda, it's been a pleasure working with you throughout this weekend. Some great racquetball and some great commentating from, from yourself. And uh, go on. <laughs> really enjoying. <laughs> You know, this end of a great final. I couldn't expect, really, if you saw the draw at the beginning of this tournament, you could not see a setup for a better final. Yeah, this is everything. I mean, we, we saw a tough quarterfinal, too. Uh, two teams that could have been there between Jake Bredenbeck and uh, the the Bolivian conglomerate of Kadim Carrasco and Conrado Moscoso. Regardless, we don't see either one of those teams in this final, but you could have. I mean, the, the draw was pretty stacked for being a quarterfinal draw. Um, but I think these are the two teams, the right two teams you know, to be here in the final. It's been nothing short of amazing here. Game number one kind of got a little out of hand. Game number two is everything we wanted from this match. And more. And it's not over. Oh, it's so good. Side out called. So good because it does crack out and DLR gets on his high horse and does something with it. Incredible ingenuity with the racket from DLR. Beltran from the back. Again. A little sloppy right there from Montoya to DLR. Landa tries to go for that. Doesn't work out. There's wow. never a good time for a skip, no. but there's definitely a worse time for a skip, <laughs> and that's one of them. I couldn't agree with you more, but that shot also from Montoya, he kept it up in the air.
setup. So good. <laughs> but you know what? The Mad Hatter's in the right place. He is in the right place, but that was an easy read from Montoya. His body language and the sequence and momentum of that rally, anybody could have guessed that was a shot that was gonna happen. Yeah, we saw about four or five pinches in a row, and everyone's up in the front court, but still good on him. And to control the dive, he does a diving one knee, and finishes the ball, not easy with Beltran lurking. Anything there left up would have been unavoidable, so kudos to Landa. To Landa. Perfect shot. Can happen. De La Rosa diving get, but not able to put a racket fully on it. Now it's the turn of Montoya and Beltran who need to push the envelope right now. We're going to get a little court wipe up here, and it's it's... Landa and DLR who are the first to get off the broken spell of 9-8 which Beltran and Montoya were leading. Now they tied up at 9-9 but it's Beltran and Montoya who get the side out. They're back in here. What's interesting here is to see how these champions are going to respond the re to the pressure of Landa and De La Rosa who are up one game to none. The momentum is changing. The score doesn't say so, but the energy is so different right now from these teams. And you see, I think, a little bit more loose, Alvaro Beltran. He's a little bit more loose. Third match for him so far, and it's the final. Lob to the right. Not the best serve from Beltran. 